Cameron Maud doing things in this tournament. Yeah, he is. Beat JR a minute ago. So he stays in. Yep. And um, he's our last remaining house player in the tournament. Yo. Oh, is he? Yes. Oh, okay. And he's uh, being watched today by his the guru that taught him everything he knows, Ted Ito. Who is front <laughs> Got to hit row, some balls, huh, Phil? Who is front row. Uh, <laughs> Ted I feel the same way. Ted's, I think, 93 years old. And he's a legend. A legend here and pretty much for the whole game of pool he is. Well, we're getting straight into this match right now. This is Daniel Bush, and I'm sitting here with the owner of the Jointed Q, uh, our very own Mike Murphy in Sacramento. 2375 Fruit Ridge Road, and um, he's owned the the long running jointed queue for about five years. Yeah. Uh, this is probably the oldest pool hall in California, opened in 1968. Yes, sir. And uh, Terry Stoner started his tournament around 69 when uh, Joe Murphy was 18 years old. <laughs> and, uh, and this is the 49th annual, and we have. Um, the final 12 players, and this is winner side match now. We just finished with a one loss round, and this should be good, huh? Yeah. Oh, wait. It's Vilmos? They're putting Vilmos and Damani on 17. Why? <laughs> you kidding me? I thought it was going to be Manny. Now we're forcing Daniel to change everything on the screen. Was this your choice? This was not my choice. This is weird. Sean Damani. Okay. So we got Sean Damani, who the, is... Uh, uh, it's the battle of the skinny jeans, I think we should call it. Yeah. Although Sean said he's wearing skinny jeans, but they're still baggy on him, so I don't know. That's a... <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know, check this out. Like, normally we wouldn't expect Sean to make it this far because he's like a family man. He's got two kids. And um, and another one on the way, yep. and he's a pharmacist. He gets up at three in the morning to go to work, and uh, you know he's a really busy guy. And he's also Manny Perez is living with him. He's been like uh -huh. there, like learning, like basically getting really heavy into the game. Like I just need a place I can practice. So right. so Manny's living there and practices at the house. Yeah, they were both. Uh, they just both had breakfast up here at the at the counter. And Okay. I talked to him for a little bit, and, and man, he's only 20 years old. Yeah, he just turned 20. Just turned 20. Happy birthday, Manny. But anyway, we got Vilmos is a former two-time champion of this tournament, right? He yes, won it yes, in, uh, he did. He won it in uh, 15 and 16, I think. Or was it 15 and 17? It might have been a break. I think uh, Edgy Geronimo came in and, and uh, won one year. Yes. And um, actually, Vilmos lives in Vegas now, but uh, he like needed to come to Fresno. He made the trek. Yeah, he, he left at 6 a.m., drove up, and he even made the mini tournament that night. So, and Billy Silvera is playing, uh, playing Manny Perez. Obviously, Manny and Vilmos are the favorites in both those matches. Yeah. And then on the next tables over, we got. And McLaughlin and uh, Tommy Soria. Yeah, Soria shooting now against uh, McLaughlin and Francis Rita Rita warming up and getting ready. No, he's playing. Is he playing Lauren? Yeah, Lauren Ma. So let's get back to this one. You have a you have another tournament here that's like a thousand at a deal, don't you? Yeah, we usually do. We try to do a summer tournament. Summer tournament. We haven't had get dates yet for it, and then we do a like a holiday tournament during probably around November or December. Um, not quite as big as this tournament, but uh, you know, try to. We just started them last year, so we'll see how those go. Yeah. But yeah, just keep uh, keep your eyes and ears open. We'll like us on our Facebook page, and you'll get updates on all the upcoming events. Yeah, we've got, uh, I'm going to throw the Facebook page in the uh, chat room sure. for people, too. It was nice to be up here again. Yeah, it's good to have you up here, Daniel. 
Dude, I'm like um, trying to move up to the bay. I don't know if you know that. Oh, really? Yeah. Keep speaking of eyes and ears. Keep your eyes and ears open, Joe. Right. Joel Dean and I are looking for a spot to live here in the, the Bay Area, closer to Fremont, though. Yeah, it's cheap rent down there anyway. <laughs> Wish I could say that. <laughs> So we, had, we had a lot of uh, a lot of new players here this year. Um, many of these guys that I've never seen before, so it's a good thing. And uh, it's nice to see new faces yes. in pool in general. Yes, for yeah. sure. Safety battle. Yeah. Vilmos is like a killer at he this. Is. He's the guy you do not want to get into a safety battle with. He's been playing a lot of that seven ball run in Vegas, which is supposed to be like a, you know, uh, media distribution for 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 uh, sports betting. Uh, They've created a format which is. What, what a hit. Yeah, what a nice. hit. <sighs> what pharmacist, a man, going to work. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Maybe he's lying about he's all that. He's giving Vilmos his daily dose. <laughs> come on, let's come up with cheap, cheesy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> up the dosage. Metaphor. <laughs> yeah, Sean's Every really minute. upping the dosage now. Here's your 50 cc's of pain. Yeah. And you're here every morning making breakfast too, huh? Yes, sir. Open up at 8. Sometimes even earlier. If there's people pounding on the door, which does happen sometimes. <laughs> what a beautiful shot. Yeah, he's pretty good. playing pretty well also. Yeah, uh, Vilmos is just letting uh, Kevin shoot him. Kevin there you just go. made this beautiful bank. But he doesn't doesn't really have another shot. Like, he's got to play safe, I think. Okay, Vilmos. Vilmos is back. Playing a safety. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. I didn't know that went. He's got a better angle over there, and uh, he can he can see a better. So that's than why, <laughs> that's why he played the three that way, which was an another amazing shot. Yeah, watching Suri over here on table twenty today. He's pretty fun to watch. He's how smooth he is. He just he just walks the table, knocks down shots, smooth stroke. Gonna walk in the park for him. Yeah, he's a free stroker. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely. And there's a never never need for any shot clock with him either. No. <laughs> Vilmos, this is for Vilmos. This is a, a very good run. I mean, that's three ball up table. Yeah. He just uh, he just played. You know, he's amazing at positional play. He's really good at positional play, in my opinion. Um, Plus, he's very familiar with table eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's comfortable. There is a com there's a comfort level he has he plays here. Plays a lot of matches on this table. <laughs> also. Your pockets are a little more generous than most play, most ta most like, especially feature tables and stuff. Well, how come I can't make a ball, Daniel? 
That's, that's why uh, I like playing three cushion, Dan. You don't have to worry about making balls. You, know, you just hit them and yeah, hope exactly. for the best, man. You like it up there in like three cushion land, don't you? Oh, yeah. I'd love to do a little action match there one time at the, <laughs> on your three seat tables. Yep, that would be that would be pretty fun to do. You have that. a good player, huh? His name's like Julio or something. Julio comes in. He's a good three cushion player. Yeah. Good, good one pocket player. Too. I saw that. And he, uh, when I was coming to set up, he was playing one pocket over here. There's uh, there's some good billiard players here. You know, no pros. I mean, we used to have a guy named Armando Breton who. Uh, Mexican guy, he uh, he moved back down to Mexico, but he was, you know, you could see videos of him on Facebook back in the 80s playing oh, yeah. championship matches, and you know, with the uh, with the 70s mustache and the tuxedo shirts, and. <laughs> oh, you also have that. I saw that video for a Teddy though. Oh yeah, that was a great video. Yes. If anybody, if anybody, is there a yeah, link it's, to it's that? Called, um, it's called Facebook, and it's Sacktown Stories. And yeah, that was a really cool video they did. Sacktown stories. Yeah. <laughs> I watch a lot of van life stuff. Uh huh. Do you ever get into that? <laughs> Never heard of it. There's this new culture of uh, of people that live in their van and they vlog about it and they put it on YouTube. It's like this. There's like tons of channels, van life channels. Anyway, there's a dude up here in like Santa Cruz area. Oh, I'm, I'm sure he's in Santa Cruz. Yeah, and he's cool. Uh, Dave 2D, 2D vlogs. I subscribe to his channel. Anyway, here's there's yeah there's a Ted Edo video on YouTube from the jointed queue. It's a really good video. I'll put the link in the chat room. But don't watch it now. Yeah. Right. We got Vilmos. We got action on 18. Here. Sean gives up ball in hand, huh? Yeah, that's not recommended. Especially with him. Tommy Soria is up 2-0 on McLaughlin. And it looks like uh, it's is it 2-0? 2-0 Francis or 1-1? One, one? I can't tell. 2-0 Francis against um, no. Lauren Ma. And Manny Perez, I think, is up 2-0 on Billy already. No time to waste. You just know that if you do miss, you're kind of screwed. Right. You know, you kind of know you're not gonna come back to the table. Well, Daniel, like, I'm screwed when I played you. What? I'm screwed when I played you. Remember, oh. Hit a couple balls yesterday. Really? Is that? Yeah, what? you put me no. on the you put me on the video. Made me look like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason I was missing shots. I, mean, I, you know, I can't I can't do it under pressure. Oh, that's right. I was doing an audio me. test, wasn't I? Yeah, audio test. The humility test. <laughs> Go back and watch it. Uh, absolutely not. I threw my computer away. Oh, you're not that n narcissistic. No, no. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> oh no, you find it. Get out of yeah, That's me. Yeah, there you are. Oh no, that's Angel. Good. So it was Angel first and then you, right? Yeah, something like that. You make me relive this, huh? Just want to see how good you look on camera, buddy. Oh, 
We're always scouting I, for new talent. I look a lot better when I turn the, the lights above the table off. We're always scouting for new talent, man. You got that camera that takes off 30 pounds instead of adds 20? Uh, let's see. Let's see. You're in the shot. No, I don't. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, there you go. Good shot. That's yeah. beautiful. That was a safe. Okay, we're done. We're not going to look at that anymore. <laughs> it's it's 2 0, Vilmush. It's still 2 0 on the other matches. Tommy and uh, Kevin. Tommy's ahead 2 0, and Francis Rita Rita's ahead 2 0. And Manny's up 3. Is that 3 0? Manny's up 3 0. Yeah. Billy's wondering why he got up this morning. <laughs> But the other two matches, the, you know, these two matches, these are winner side matches with Manny and Billy, and this one we're watching. So the loser will still be in. Yep. What's, what's V doing here? What's that? What's V doing here playing safety? So you're going to fix up the front there a little bit? We'll see what happens. Yeah, we're going to definitely have to do some remodeling. For those who don't know, we had a, we had a u haul van decide to drive through our pro shop window on the front of the building a couple weeks ago. I had just gotten back from a vacation from Santa Cruz. Lay down on the couch, was watching the final four. Get a call from the pool hall. Hey, Mike, a van just drove through the window. So that was a, that was a pleasant thing to come home to. Trials and tribulations, man. Yeah. Never a dull moment. Yeah. They could have, the, I think they hit the wrong, they should have hit the pawn shop. Yeah. They have a U-Haul. They could have loaded the thing For up. sure. Guy wasn't thinking. So I didn't know it was a U-Haul, though. Yeah, well, it's a good thing he had insurance, I'll tell you that. Vilmush is, uh, he's doing it th this I'm going to play a perfect pattern here. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's going to combo the nine. Oh, oh, still get it. Wow. Ma did one of those classic <laughs> miss the side pocket, and then it goes off the, the, the nipple and then just runs to the corner pocket. I don't know if you guys know that. Where you know, Well, it's... Object ball runs along the rail off the nipple of the, the side pocket. It's, yeah, it's, he's the house player, so he, <laughs> he knows those shots. <laughs> That's how we played it, Daniel. Okay. <laughs> See, you should have just been here from day one in the commentary because you know these guys better than I do. Right. So now Lauren's on the board, two to one, playing Francis Rita Rita. I hope these guys all come play like West Coast Swing stuff. I mean, you know. That's happening what? Um, June. June. It'll be. Is it 5th? June 30th. 30th. Okay. Is uh, the Cold Dixon. And then we go over to Fremont. You know. Maybe you guys should have a warm up tournament. Just just have a warm up tournament or something. Yeah. I, I wouldn't for mind. Your, for your local guys, you know? Yeah. You should do like a West Coast Swing format, like Race to Nine or something. Or I don't know. Oh, Vilmos is doing his thing here. He's mopping up the floor with a key stick. Vilmos is a machine. I think I think he still uses Mez, right? Isn't he still a Mez player? Uh, I'm not sure. Wow. Looks like that. It's three nothing. I don't, I don't see a patch on him. You know, like I mean maybe I should shut up because maybe he's yeah. supposed to be wearing is it, or is that Barioni? Does he have a Barioni patch on? I think so. He's using John Barioni? 
Is that, is that his name? I, I want to say so, yeah. Yeah. Where is he? He usually comes to this tournament. He does, there were, you know what? There was quite a few players that didn't show. Yeah. Even local players that normally do. So, I mean, we could have had 120. 120 without <laughs> any problem. They were protest protesting, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's probably. Yeah. I, prob I probably did something wrong. Pissed him off. Said you're open too early. <laughs> Joints and Q's open every day at 8 in the morning. Just like lock that into your head, guys. <laughs> That's great. If you're on the road, if you're a road player, and you're looking for a like pool hall early in the morning, you just dropped into town, come to the Joint and Q at 8 in the morning. Yep. And it's open for a big uh, full breakfast here. Pool tables are all open and available. Yeah, breakfast is great. And if, even if you want a double cheeseburger with bacon at 8 a.m., we'll take care of it. Yep. While well, like, well, I'm on the stream, I may as well uh, thank my employees for the awesome job they did this weekend. Um, where everybody's working hard. You know, it was real busy in here. The building's not the, it's not the biggest pool hall, but we yeah. have a bunch of people in here. Everybody's eating. And, they did a great job. Your guys have been great. Shane and uh, yeah. Manuel and Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence is killing it. The guy worked a double shift yesterday. Tim. Worked a double shift yesterday and came in and opened up this morning. So, See, I knew I wasn't imagining things when I said, like, you know, you were here last night. Yeah. Went home, got a nap, came right back to work. So, so uh, Billy's on the board, 3-1. Yeah, man, everybody's, who else? think Joe Murphy and oh, yeah, Cora Joe. and uh, Cora signing people up. Cora. Yep, she's uh, just tur she turns 81 this Monday. Oh, wow. she's, she's always taking sign-ups in the tournaments. Her and Sandy Stonier usually, but Sandy's... Look at this. Wow. He just played this crazy shot. Wow. Sean, yeah. Okay, go on. Oh, no, I was just saying, if Sandy Stone here would normally come in with Corin. They take in sign ups and see everybody, and she's just, her health's not great, so she's taking it easy. Yeah, I was asking about her. Uh, or Mrs. Stone here, you know? Yeah. Well, Sean. Sean played a good ball, you know? He, he played a billiard shot to make the eight and then the one went in and he got great shape on the two five combo but same shooter yeah <laughs> missed are these guys talking what are they talking about over there Vilmos uh, he goes to the gym every morning did you know that does he really yeah hey, he looks like a power lifter <laughs> I see him on an elliptical machine maybe squat you know, treadmills yeah <laughs> He's like squatting 400 pounds. <laughs> Bench pressing the Q stick with a couple five pound weights on it. Curling, curling a protein <laughs> shake. <laughs> a kale smoothie. Saria's <laughs> uh, up. I like watching Vilmos play. I just don't like playing him. Right. <laughs> I think a lot of people share that sentiment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's still, uh, still weird not seeing Amar here on Sundays. <laughs> just, I'm, so, I'm so used to it. He's been in the finals every year since yeah. I've been here. It was nice to see Amar again. I've been, I was talking to him last night for a while, you know. He's been uh, doing his thing. He yeah. plays the, you know. He just went come back. He was on the road for a little bit. He went down south. He went through Vegas and a couple other places. Mm -hmm. I actually didn't think he would be up here for this tournament. He, uh, he got back in time. And Bart Mahoney just checked in. He said the... The Stoneers are the were the best family on the West Coast ever. That's the it's very powerful what the Terry Stoner family left behind. Like I 
I feel that message, even though I never met the right. I never, I, I never met Terry either. And everything you hear about how you know great he was for the game of yeah. pool yeah. and this this pool hall, especially I mean, it's, it's the oldest or the longest running tournament I think in California. I mean, that's what people are telling me. And I, and the more I think about it and look around me, I see that you know the way pool thrives today and that same spirit seems to still exist that right. is different from any other where, any other part of California right. that I'm used to that, that spirit of like action and, and really getting you know the nine footers mm -hmm. tables are really alive here yeah. you know whereas it, it you know seems to be a lot more bar table and league stuff yeah. in other parts of the country and the, and the state well you know I uh I'm here every morning, you know, 5 a.m., and I, I will tell you that uh, Terry is still with us. <laughs> there is a, there's been some some occurrences there. We were in this tournament room with lights off in the morning, and oh, you hear no. things. Here yeah. we go. I'm telling you. We should get you on that show <laughs> then, man. <laughs> yeah, get some uh, paranormal activity yeah, on your Yeah, way. yeah. It's sort of, actually multiple people have said things like that, and, you know, I kind of said, yeah, whatever. But uh, I think he's still here in spirit. It's awesome, man. Literally, still here in spirit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sean Damani is racking again. He's racking again, man. They played, played a great shot. I, I know that it, that's what he was trying to do, is like either make the one, or there, there were a right. lot of good things that, ha that happened with that kick, and they did. And then he just got this combo that he took his eye off or something. Oh. Trying to do too much with the balls or something. Yeah. Four zero, and then uh, Manny five Manny. to five to one Manny right. against Billy, and uh, four to one Tommy against Kevin, and three to two. Well, they just and he just won again. So three to two Rita now. Rita. Yeah. So I think it's three to two now. Or no, four to two. No, four to one. That would make it four to one. Francis against yeah. Lauren Ma. So. Nothing too uh, tight. We haven't seen any like uh, tight matches uh, this morning yet. Playing Vilmos is not fun. <laughs> I played him in the Swanee, you know, and I just couldn't. I couldn't keep up with the guy. Oh, it's because he goes to the gym every day. Yeah. Cucumber, cucumber milkshakes. <laughs> The haunted queue. There you <laughs> That's go. That's what someone. <laughs> <laughs> Russ, good morning, Russ Zorn. <laughs> that the was haunted, good. Hey, I like that. I'll tell you, I, I, Dude, I, you should just do a Halloween party every night. Call I'm, it the I'm, haunted queue. Scared, Change man. the name of the awning and everything just for one night. You know, uh, Dan, I'm sitting, You should do that on Halloween, man. I'm sitting in my office one morning, and I'm the only one here. The haunted I'm, queue. I'm sitting there doing the, the money from last night's business, whatever, and. I get this strong smell of like aftershave, like an old man's aftershave. And I kind of sat back in my chair, like, what the heck was that, man? And I get up and I come back and I sit back down and I'm like, and it's gone. And I'm like, that, that's, that was weird. I've heard, I've heard footsteps. It was like Old week. Spice or something? Yeah, I was like, I mean, I'm not wearing Old Spice, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I'm lucky if I get deodorant under my arms in the morning, yeah? <laughs> Just kidding. What's but, the other one? Aqua Velva. Aqua Velva, yeah. yeah. yeah the gift everybody's gotten their father at one point. Sean just played this one niner. That was pretty looking. <laughs> no shout out. Hey, he played it with <laughs> played it with ball and head, I guess, too, you know. He just played the one niner. That was a hell of a shot. The haunted cue. Yep. Well, I, I hope you don't mind me stealing it if you don't use it. I might do a show, The Haunted Q. There you go. The Tales of the Haunted Q. <laughs> the Haunted Q. 
Haunted Q Ghoul Hall. <laughs> the, oh, my <laughs> God. Now we're, now we're getting there. We're, we're getting somewhere now. You should be a writer, man. You, <laughs> you should write television. Yeah. Well, there's a definite sitcom in this building, let me tell you. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, there's plenty of characters, I'll tell you what. This would be a writer's dream. Ooh, I'm going to change the score. This job is hard. Yeah. <laughs> Got to stay on top of things, Daniel. Oh, man. Oh. Come on, go away. Wow. Kevin was... Uh, it was just a matter of time. <laughs> oh, no. That's a bad Sean shot. Look at that. You know, I love this shot. You know what you do here? You jump the one over the three. I like this shot. It's a good trick shot. <laughs> hey, it's hard enough for me to make a ball, right? You know, you're trying to talk about trick shots. I, don't, you know. I mean, I think Vilmos can cut this and actually avoid the nine. But, oh, he's going to do something else. Safety player. And he, you know what? Can Sean, you see the he one? He yeah, see. he can. He left Sean a little, a little slice of it. God, Vilmos, you're terrible, man. B player. He almost sucks, dude. Yeah, no, he's horrible. He can come, down, he can come down and play on a Monday night tournament or B tournaments. Okay. You're going to give it, he, he gets a game from the last week's winner. So yeah, like, there you go. Sean got very lucky, but I don't know if he's, is he going to bank this? Yeah, Tommy Saria just won. A very good bank to uh, make up for his luck. Perfect position. And Tommy Soria is uh, trying to take the title this today. He just beat Kevin McLaughlin 6-1. Uh, yeah, he's played two matches already, and he's lost one game. Um, the the Lauren Ma Rita Rita match is moving slowly, but it's still because it's still the same score, four to one. Shooting, Tommy. Yes. So, is, is are they done on seventeen? I guess uh, Perez. Perez, yeah. six to two one. Billy got a game in there. Yeah. So that's a uh, Billy out with uh, eighth through twelfth, right? Or nine through twelve. Nine through twelve, I think. Yes. Oh my goodness. Six eight two. <sighs> so this young man Avinash, he gave me a flash drive with like no room on it. Oh, you try to uh, give him his match. I mean, I guess I'll just have to re-encode it at a lesser quality. <laughs> anyway. I might actually have a flash drive that you guys can have, or you can use for that. I don't think there's anything on it. Just my bank records and everything like that. <laughs> no big deal. Sean made up for his uh, getting lucky there, and then he, you know, the, the that one nine in the last game helped him. Shoot, it's four to two now. He's well, back. I, he's I, back in this game. I just think that maybe just Bill, Bill Moses isn't a very good player, and he's just kind of, you know, he maxed out yesterday. I think he's just <laughs> <laughs> he's o he's overrated. Yeah, he's a, he's overrated. So. Yeah. You know, it's funny. One year we uh, we played. Uh, I forgot who I played for three cushion. The guy was in the final eight, and we sat and played a set of three cushion, and I beat him, and he ended up losing his match. <laughs> it was oh his really? First match. I, I was like, I, I told him before. I said, you probably shouldn't be playing three cushion right now, man. Just focus on your nine ball game. And uh, that was that. Yeah. 
shot and getting a shot. Look at the, how many balls. Three balls three down. Balls. But the one to the three, that's hard. That's hard. <laughs> he might play up the bank because it's a bigger pocket. The three balls at the end rail. So right. like, um, he's on the wrong side of the one to get good shape on the three. He could actually use reverse and get shape, but it's 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 a finesse shot. No, oh, he's putting high angles out there. Oh, yeah. There's the danger in that shot, but he's gonna get a good roll. And there's not a lot of not a lot of lanes available for safety. Although he could just uh, cut the one softly like and bring the cue ball around right. to try to bring it under the five cut the one toward the three but then you might tie it up make it dead it's risky uh, Rita Rita looks like he's on his way here another thing Vilmos might do is just play the bank to the corner the the bottom right And just le hold the cue ball for that three. Rita Rita just closed it up yep. against Lauren Ma. Five, six games to one. Now, did Rita Rita lose his first match yesterday? <laughs> I, I don't think. I, I want to say he went to the. Yeah, he played Radu. Radu Angel. Okay. The Romanian. Yes. Slow dancer. Right, the Romanian rain delay. Yeah. So he's playing the, he's playing the other shot, but that looks like a billiard to me. A ticky. He can ticky this in. Oh, he can combo it in. Now what? Yeah, good luck here, man. <laughs> I mean, if you make this one, good, good shot. These are my favorite shots, Daniel. You know why? I just close my eyes and I hit as hard as I you can. You just bam. Yeah. You just, you just take it. What's the worst that can happen? You could lose? <laughs> <laughs> it's pool, man. Yeah. Well, that was probably the ugliest way to make it. <laughs> Lauren Ma, Lauren Ma, Lauren Ma makes square. it. Seventh, eighth. No. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Seventh, eighth. Lauren Ma, $200. Hey, Lauren, you get a membership now. <laughs> hey, uh, by the way, thanks for adding the extra money. I'm sure these players really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you know, well, I had, I mean, you know. I guaranteed the thousand. Then when we got 104, I was like, hey, you know what? Let's throw another 500 in there. And if you guys didn't buy a raffle ticket for the queue, you're all cheapskates. Yeah, tell me about it. I bought some, Daniel. Yeah. Okay, good. I have a side pot money in my pocket, too. I could just buy raffle tickets with it. <laughs> there you go. I know I would win, and then, <laughs> and then I'd have more That's right. to give to them to the side pot. People are texting me. It's a hard. It's hard to answer my texts while I'm streaming. Just a little disclaimer to you folks. I thought our technology is ruining our relationship, Daniel. You know, yeah. you're always on your phone, man. Just Grasshopper, it's nice to see you too. Um, Nelson Silva. He came all the way up here from uh, from uh, like the Fremont area. Uh oh. To uh, play this Nine tournament. Ball. Nope. That would have counted, right? Yep. Oh, the one is the hooked. One. Yeah. Oh, so Vilmos made a ball, so. So yeah, anyway. He's going to take out the nine here. Have fun with the kids, Grasshopper, today. Yeah, take out the nine. Uh, 
now the one looks like available to the corner. It goes past that six to the corner, so it's kind of like a free shot because Sean Sean could try to play like two way, you know what? What's he does doing? he have bow in hand? He's overcutting it. No, it's a push. Oh he broke that's right. He looked like he was overcutting it to me. But he actually didn't even play to make it. I think he got there. Is this fun for you, sweating this? Oh, for sure. I do this, you know, quite often, so. You're used to it, huh? Yeah, I'm used to it. You don't seem nervous, and that's a good thing. No. It's ready to go to bed. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> So you're on a pool hall. What time are you up every morning? 5 a.m. Really? Yeah, 4, 4.30, 5 o'clock. There's nothing I can do about it. I blame my dad for that. He was an early riser. Yeah. So, I mean, even back in the days when I was out having fun drinking and stuff like that, I'd go to sleep at the 4. The next day, you I'm, have to I'm, up at, I'm up at 5, I'd, even when I got nothing to do. Then all of a sudden I started having kids and stuff. And then <laughs> you know, ended those days, but... Now they've got now they've got you up at four in the morning. Right? Now just well now they're older, right? Now my they? daughter's she's in middle school now. My my two boys are uh, fifth and, and third grade. Mm, they're a handful still then. Oh yeah. <clears throat> well, Vilma's just straight on the one. He's on the hill too. And he's on the hill, five to two. This would be a very good out because the one to the two is very difficult. The two ball would be very tough. Yeah, that's Vilma, so. He's going to take it on, though. He might, he might just, like, pocket speed play this. Or... Try to roll past the eight. Yeah, he rolled past the eight. Oh, he's on the short side. Such an unbelievable, like, uh, player, you know, Vilmos yeah. is. And when he's comfortable. When he's comfortable, um, <coughs> you know, especially in a place like this, it's nice to see the performance. Yeah, it's got to be a good feeling to be able to go up to a table and know you can just run a rack whenever you feel like it. <laughs> if you ever want to try that, just go to any <coughs> local bar. It's usually, <laughs> that's usually the case. You're usually like a, you know... Pool, most pool players are the best players in the bar. Uh, for the most part. But then when you get to the pool hall, you're not the best player. Right. Yeah, that should do it. Yeah. But Sean's still I'm in. out from here, Daniel, by the way. What's that? I'm out from you're here. You're out from I'm here. Out from here. Nine you're out out still might rattle it. <laughs> Nine out of ten times I'm out from here. Yeah. They're smiling at each other. Sean's like, I knew I was going to lose this. Like, <laughs> Sean's what do you like, think? I got to go back to work, man. Yeah. No, no. He's still in. He's going to have to play oh, Billy that's now. that's right. That's right. He plays Billy next, I think. Or no, they both go to separate matches. I think Billy. Rita, Rita. Billy there plays Rita, Rita. Billy plays Rita, Rita now. And Sean plays um, Soria. Right. Daniel, I want to thank you again for coming Dude, out. Dude, you're leaving? Yeah, I'm leaving. Right, i got to get back to work. I thank appreciate you, it. And uh, well, I'll see you at the end of this thing. But yeah, I gotta, yeah. I'll make sure there's nobody robbing me. Next time you should, next time you should like, do a match in the front and then in the back. You know, yeah. like, uh, uh, well, next time like, we like on the first day, do a match with me. And then on the last day, do a match with me. You know, like, uh, it'll be yeah. cool. Yeah, I yeah, like we'll doing matches with you. We'll do that for sure. But I'll, I'll talk to you in a bit. And, uh, yeah, and thanks. then maybe I might be moving to the Bay Area, so who knows? I might be able to come do your summer thing. Then you got no excuses, man. We, we talk about it a whole, yep. whole bunch. Of For Stay sure. in touch. Pleasure sitting with you, ma'am. Thanks, Mike. All right, Thank buddy. you. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to start this now. It's going to be uh, Billy Silvera versus uh, Francis Rita Rita. 
main feature table. Thanks to Mike Murphy. Thanks to the jointed queue. Thanks to the haunted queue. Thanks to Terry Stoner. Thanks to Murphy, Olivares, everybody who's been working here, all the staff. And, uh, and be sure to like the jointed queue on Facebook, uh, the link of which I'll put in the uh, chat room right now. And Angel has to say... Sounds great.